If you enable this option, the Finalize Materials button will also create an Atlas version of your model. Now that that's done, I'm going to hide the original collection and show the Atlas collection. This Atlas collection is only using the three Atlas files found in the PMX folder. This is pretty useful if you want to export the model to a different program because now you don't have to load like 50 different PNG files. You can just load one single file for the body, one for the outfit, and one for the hair. And if you want to export the model as an FBX file, you can just click on the export button in here. And that'll export to this folder. This is the same folder where the Atlas files are stored. If you want to reduce the bone count, or you want to make the armature compatible with the Unity Humanoid armature, then you can click on this button. Just know that the bone simplification process is not very optimized, and it can take a very long time for this to process. Here's how long it took on my computer. I've noticed that the file size can get pretty bloated if you keep every single shape key on here. If that's a concern to you, you can just get rid of the ones that you aren't going to use. And the final thing I want to bring up before I switch to the Unity demo is material combining. As I mentioned before, all of these materials are using the same Atlas file, so you can just combine all of these into one material if you want to. It gets kind of tricky though because some materials are supposed to be solid, some are supposed to be transparent, and when they're not supposed to be transparent, sometimes weird stuff happens. So when you're combining everything, just make sure to keep the dithered materials separate from the blended materials. And of course, I just made edits to the model, so I'm going to export the FBX again. Alright, moving on to Unity. I'm going to make a new 3D project. Then I'm going to import all of the Atlas files and the FBX file, and I like the shaders in the VRM package, so that's why I'm importing that. This model has four material slots, so let's make those. Make a new material. Change it to VRM Mtune. And I'm just going to take the light atlas and drag it onto the lit color. Then the dark atlas onto the shade color. And I'm going to set the alpha mode to cut out. I'm going to do that two more times for the hair and the outfit. Now let's fill in these material slots. Now, that looks almost right, but as you recall, I separated the blended materials from the dithered materials on the body. And we can do something similar in Unity by duplicating the body material and changing this new material's alpha mode to transparent. And now you can see, especially around the eyes, that looks a lot better. 
Awesome. Now I'm going to set the armature to humanoid and apply it. And I'm going to make sure all of the joints are correct by clicking the configure button. I already happen to know that this model is completely correct, so just check through these tabs to make sure that your model matches my model. I'm going to leave these on screen for a second. And if all that's good, you can check everything is working in this tab. And that's basically it. If you're using the VRM shader, you can add an outline. And you can add a rim to the hair and do whatever else your heart desires. I don't think I have anything else to add, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna.